Hello my lovelies, is you good, is you okay, is you alright, it's your girl Sarah's Comfort and today I am bringing you another video and this time around it's how to make spaghetti and meatballs just look at this big pot of spaghetti and meatballs just look at it mom is over there eating, she doesn't want to be disturbed we are done, we are about to sit down for dinner if you want to know how this recipe is done please stick around make sure you subscribe like hit the notification button so that you get notified anytime i upload new videos let's get to cooking spaghetti and meatballs some bread as you can see I have cut the crust off I'm using a day old bread you can use stale bread if you want to if you have it if you don't have it a day old bread will do and I'm just going to cut into strips I think I have about 2 kgs of minced meat that's why I have a lot of bread if you don't have that much meat then just use two pieces of bread that would be enough and also this is like the kumanina bread do you know that it's called kumanina because it's really big cows will tell you what that means and i'm going to put all of this in a bowl And I'm going to add some milk. Let's give it a stir. If you don't have milk, you can use water. Or you can use, use... If you don't have milk, you can use water. Or you can use half and half. So half milk, half water. And I think that is what I'm going to use because this milk, this is pasteurized. I think I am going to add some water to this because that is pasteurized milk so no need to overuse that I am going to add some water because the milk that I'm using is pasteurized milk so uh -uh, not using a lot of it For this I have about three onions finely diced and when I say finely I mean finely this is finely diced versus not so finely diced see the difference so make sure for your minced meat you finely dice your onions if you do not have garlic powder use normal garlic for minced meat I like using garlic powder I do not have the correct measurement for this because this is something that I do off the top of my head but I will come up with a recipe and post that for you guys. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. I will start with some parsley, about a heaped teaspoon, some thyme. about one and a half teaspoon of oregano. Salt and pepper. I have two large eggs or three small kienyeji ones. And now make sure your hands are completely clean because you want to do this with your hands, okay? Get your bread. Mm -hmm. 
now don't be like me and overdo it with the water just add enough to soak your bread but not to drown it okay and then now the fine work starts use a bigger bowl i was underestimating this This is some dirty, dirty work, but someone has to do it. And I guarantee you, you will not find my mother in here with her hands elbow deep into a bowl of mincemeat. Forget it. This is my work. Make sure you go completely underneath that way all the mincemeat gets mixed up with the herbs and the salt and the pepper everything see like this piece that wasn't mixed yet everything is mixed i'm going to set this aside wash my hands and then come back this is the biggest pan that i have i'm going to add some oil because we want to shallow fry our meatballs just cover the base of the pan with the oil just to make sure i have uniform balls <laughs> that sounded a bit dirty but yeah just to make sure that my balls are uniform i am going to use an ice cream scooper and just scoop a round of balls form it in my hand and then set it aside Ideally, it's best to do this before you heat up your oil. You're not making jumbo meatballs, so don't worry about the size. So this is how you just roll it in your hand, ever so gently. The meatballs have been browned and now in the same same pan with all that gooey all of this this is flavor i am going to add two onions diced All of this is flavor, nothing is burnt, so make sure you keep it. Please do not throw it away, you'll be throwing a whole lot of flavor. In case you're wondering how to use celery, here is a way that you can use it in some spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to add Bay leaves. <laughs> now, if I can show you what is happening, this is Damien refusing to leave my foot as usual. I don't know what Damien has with feet, but it is classy. <laughs> it's just, he won't leave it. He has to shower, but he is. Nope. <laughs> Damien. And okay, okay. <laughs> Papa, baby, I don't know how to get. And then, and then, kuku, and then kuku, kuku, and then kuku, kuku. Okay, back to the food. My phone ran out of storage space while I was recording, and it took me a minute before I realized that it did. In that minute, I had already poured in the rest of my ingredients, and now we have a sauce. So, where was I? I had sauteed the onions, added some celery, added three bay leaves, and then added garlic. After the garlic, I added some oregano, I added some thyme, and then poured in my tomatoes. Half of them are blend, half of them are finely diced. 
then cook that for about 15 minutes added some basil which i just did and now i will add back the meatballs and in the meantime i'm going to bring a pan with hot water to a boil Going to taste this for seasoning. And if you add tomato paste like I did, then you will need to add a little bit of brown sugar to just cut down on that acidity of the tomatoes. And today I am serving Mama spaghetti with meatballs. Good. And I'm waiting very much. So I'm going to get some of that pasta water on the side before I pour out the rest, which is not a whole lot. There is the spaghetti drained. Taste for seasoning. Always add salt to your spaghetti water. It needs to be al dente. Look at that beautiful sauce. Be very gentle. Breaking those balls is a no no. Breaking any type of balls is a no no. There we are guys, spaghetti and meatballs. Now the first person to taste this has to be my mother. I'm going to serve my mother first. She's going to be my tester. And she's going to tell you how it tastes. Because this is her first ever spaghetti and meatballs. She's eaten spaghetti, she's eaten meatballs separately, but this is her first. <laughs> hey, my friends. Now, if I had some fresh basil, that would elevate this, but I don't, unfortunately. Mama! Wait. Wait. You have to do. No, wait. We have to do this. Tafuna kwanza uniambia tuta tafuna. Wow. Just look at it. Mom is over there eating and she doesn't want to be disturbed. So um we are done. We are about to sit down for dinner. Make sure you subscribe, like Hit the notification button so that you get notified anytime I upload new videos. And my lovelies, do not forget to live, laugh, love. Ciao, ciao.